All right, so here we have a 2007 uh, Chevy 2500 HD. It has the Allison tranny and uh, Duramax motor. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to um, uh, replace a bunch of AC parts. We have a noisy compressor. It's not really the, the best cold air. Um, so we're going to replace the compressor, the accumulator, the orifice tube, and the condenser and try as best we can to flush out the evaporator if we see stuff in the, in the lines and all that. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and take off this uh, intake snorkel right here just so we can access the orifice and the accumulator. Uh, we'll start there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take off our snorkel here. Now that we got that out of the way, we can get to our accumulator and our orifice tube. Um, so before we did all this, we've already had the system evacuated and recovered the Freon that's in it. So we do have another video if you want to check it out on how we did that. Um, so. Now we're going to remove our orifice tube. We want to just check it out kind of the beginning of our, of our service and that'll kind of tell us, you know, if we had, if the compressor is noisy because it's coming apart or whatnot. Uh, and then we also need to get in there for our, our dryer. All right, so I got a seven eighths and a 19 millimeter. We'll go ahead and loosen this. All right, let me go get a, we're gonna go ahead and remove this line. This is the evaporator back here. We go ahead and remove this little short line uh, because it's kind of in the way for the accumulator. All right, so we have a half inch nut holding our line on there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and loosen our, we have another half inch nut here holding our line on. All right, and then we have another half inch uh, nut holding our accumulator to the evaporator. And our, unplug our electrical connector. All right, so now we want to remove the accumulator. Here we have a, a strap that goes around it with a 10 millimeter uh, bolt on the other side. So we'll go ahead and loosen that up. All right, so now we should be able to pull our accumulator out. Okay, we'll put this off to the side for now. All right, so inside this line is what we have our orifice tube. I just have a set of angled pliers. I'm going to go in here and see if I can grab the end of it. Okay, so that's what we were kind of thinking there. So we got a little bit of metal from the compressor uh, caught by the screen there. All right, so 
This is our orifice tube. They do come in different colors, so you know, we want to make sure that there's a little tube inside of it and that it determines the size, the orifice size. Uh, they're marked by the color, so this is a white one. There is an arrow, right? So that shows you the direction of flow. Um, so, it's going, so the flow is going back towards this way. So you know which way um, you know, to put the new one in or whatnot, or at least to check out the system, you know which way everything's flowing. All right, so you do have screens on both sides. Um, it doesn't really matter. You could put this in backwards. It's still going to have the same little tube. The only difference would be is you have a larger volume of screen to catch more material versus this side. So if this side had that much, it would be very um, plugged up versus having so many steps to get through on the filter side. All right, so the next thing we need to do is remove the belt. Uh, the serpentine belt so we can remove the compressor. Um, so probably a couple different ways you can do this but what we're going to do uh, we're going to remove this upper radiator fan shroud so we can get to the tensioner uh, easily. The other way would be to to remove all the air box and things like that. Um, we're just going to go ahead and this seems to be the simpler way to remove this this shroud here. So we have we have halfway down the shroud, we have uh, 10 millimeter bolts holding it in on both sides. Uh, and then we have a 13 millimeter on this side. Maybe another 13 on this side here for this bracket. So we'll go ahead and start removing. We do have a controller there we need to remove too. Oh no, those are little push pins down there. Those are not 10 millimeter bolts, those are push pins. Go ahead and remove this bolt here. All right, so on the corners, uh, halfway down on the shroud we have like a push pin so we need to pop the top. I just use a little flathead screwdriver and pop it up and then we can pull it out. I have two on each side is what it's looking like. All right. And I do have a, a module here we need to uh, Disconnect. I'll have to figure that one out in a second. Let's go ahead and get this one over here. All right, so now we need to con disconnect this connector here. There's like a little safety. On the bottom here. Man, I can't. So I just can't feel where the lock is or having some trouble there. I'm just going to remove these two little push pins here. and That should get me off the shroud, so... We should get there like that. Same thing, just kind of pull the center. Oh, that one's already missing on that side. Just have a little hook that's holding it there. All right, so there. There's kind of what we were fighting with. Looks like you had to push down and pull back and then this lever. Well, we'll let you do that. There you go. And that's how that disconnects. We'll go ahead and get it out of the way for now. 
All right, now we can remove our shroud, our upper shroud. All right, what I'm trying to do is there's a half inch um, little relief in the tensioner. So I'm kind of going on the other side of the fan here uh, so I can get this into that relief and then use my ratchet to, uh, uh, to do the tensioner. So let me go ahead and get set up again. Just trying to be very careful with the, you know, we are playing right by the radiator. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to push down on the tensioner, slip the belt off of the AC compressor, and then just come back nice and slow with the tensioner. tool. The other thing you could do here, you know, kind of help you out is put a piece of cardboard in front of the radiator. That way you know you're not going to smack the radiator. I'm going to go ahead and leave my socket uh, in the tensioner. All right, so we got that loosened up. All right, so now we want to remove our compressor so we will go ahead and remove our lines a 13 or a half millimeter this is a half half's a little snug 13's a little loose All right, so I have a, a 15 millimeter socket. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these four bolts here. We'll go ahead and undo our, this is our connector for the clutch on the AC compressor. We'll go ahead and unplug that now. All right, we'll go ahead and lift the compressor out and set it aside. All right, so now we want to uh, get to the condenser. So we're going to go ahead and remove this shroud. We have a couple push pins uh, holding it in. So we'll go ahead and get all those out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and remove uh, the grill here. So we're just going to pull it out nicely. It's got some nice little clips. On this side. Over here. All right, so... Here's our condenser right here. Uh, we need to get this uh, where, our, where our hood uh, release mechanism is. Um, so we have a couple bolts behind here. Uh, and then this bar goes out and there's a little bolt. There's two, looks like 10 millimeters. There's two on this side and two on that side. It looks like probably the best way to get this one 
and that side is to remove this lower headlight. All right, so what we're going to do is we just have a little uh, bracket we need to push here and then, and then pull this one out. So you just got to push it past the lock. All right, and then go ahead and pull this side out. All right, and that gives us good access. We can just kind of leave it hanging there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and remove these two uh, tens. We have one on this side and one uh, behind here while we remove the headlight. So we'll go ahead and remove those. All right, so now we need to remove this bracket. So we have uh, two 10 millimeter uh, nuts behind here on the top. We'll go ahead and get those out. All right, so now that we have our, our cross uh, you know, support there loose, we'll go ahead and uh, loosen our two uh, 10 millimeters at the top here. All right, so now we have our condenser loose. We'll go ahead and remove our lines. We have uh, some half inch uh, nuts here. All right, so now we're ready to sneak our condenser out. So we gotta just slide it back a little bit this way. So our lines, our studs have enough room to clear. All right. All right, so now that we have the condenser out, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna flush out some lines, so I don't know where you can see. Where are you looking at? So I just have some uh, some clear flush here, some AC flush. It is compatible uh, with the peg oil that's in it. So I'm just, I just have a um, you know a cap off of a gear lube, so I can kind of squeeze it into into the line, blow it through, just kind of get the trash out that we um, you know seen was there from the orifice tube. Just gonna put a, some stuff around so I don't make a big mess. Now I'm going to blow this one out. This one's going to go towards the orifice that was there. messy. All right. Next I'm going to do the new side the evaporator here. All right, so now I'm going to do our evaporator core. So normally the free I'm going to come in on the on the small side here, the high side and come out on the low side. So I'm going to backflow. I'm going to fill on this side and blow it through out that one.
last line we have is going back towards the compressor here. I can do this one out of the car too. All right, so here we have a, a new condenser that we got from Auto Parts Direct U. This is an AC Delco. Um, so we just want to compare uh, everything's the same. Looks like we have our studs on here. Everything's all good. Got our mounts in the same place. Our lower mount, uh, they stayed in, to, in the vehicle. All right, so we, we know this is the right one. So we'll go ahead and put this in the vehicle. All right, one more thing before we put this in just because of the, the angle that we have. We're gonna go ahead and replace our O-rings here. All right, we'll go ahead and So we just go through and we'll match up what ones we need. All right, so these ones look to be exactly the same between the two. All right. All right, so we got our two new O-rings there. Right, I'm just gonna do a little clean up here to make sure everything seats down nicely. So we want to use a, our peg oil. We just want to put a little bit of oil on each one of the O-rings just to help it, help it seat up. Just going to go ahead and put our line nuts back on. All right, so we'll go ahead and tighten down our condenser mount. All right, now we'll go ahead and put our, our support back in. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my bolts in finger tight before I go around and tighten them all. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop our headlights back in. All 
All right, we'll put our grill in. Okay, so here we have our new compressor that we got from Auto Parts Direct to you. This is a factory compressor, AC Delco. Everything looks the same, same clutches, same mounting, same thing. Okay, so this, this does come with oil in it. Uh, it comes with 7.1 ounces. That's exactly how much oil needs to be in the, uh, in the system. Uh, we've replaced the condenser, the accumulator, um, blown out the evaporator so we know there's no oil in the system if you, you know, if you were just replacing the compressor there are some instructions that come with to balance the oil out how to remove and check and then add so you don't go over that 7.1 um, so we're just gonna go with what we have because it's all brand new stuff we just did and we know that it is already has the correct amount of oil in it so we'll go ahead and install our compressor now We got our one line there and our other line. Should go ahead and put the, the belt on, huh? Let's go ahead and put the belt on real quick. Go ahead and put the shroud back on. All right, so now we'll go ahead and add back our module. All right, so here we have our new accumulator from Auto Parts Direct to you. So we just wanna check, make sure that everything is in the right positions, you know, that we're exactly the same. All right, so now we need to transfer our stud over and our low pressure switch. So we're gonna, we're gonna use an inverted Torx bit. This is a number seven. All right, we'll take our switch off. I have a 16 millimeter wrench here. All right, and we got our cover back on. We'll go ahead and put it back in the vehicle now. All right, so our new accumulator came with our gasket on it, our O-ring, so we just want to go ahead and lube it up a little bit before we install it. All right, we'll go ahead and put this back into its mount. We'll go ahead and put our 
put our line back on. We have O-rings we need to match up. Right, so we need to match up our gaskets here. All right, so we're also going to replace, uh, this is the high side service port. Right, so we have a new one of those. Um, what's happening here is once we remove the, uh, the gauges, this is not wanting to seal. You can see it has a lot of residue. So we're going to go ahead and replace that. Uh, it is on the side where the trash would be stuck for the orifice tube. So there's probably some trash inside of the Schrader valve there. So we'll just go ahead and replace it. All right, so we just want to unthread it out of there. Let's see it. You kind of see what it. All right, so it's just going to thread in like right into there. So we'll go ahead and unthread that. All right, so we want to get our O-rings on our line here before we put it on. Go ahead and install our orifice tube. Lube up our O-rings on our line. All right, we'll go ahead and tighten our line up. We have our electrical connection for our low side switch. All right, so now we just want to put our air tube back on. Okay, so now what we need to do is hook it up to a vacuum, evacuate the system. We do have videos uh, that show you the process, uh, and then we can recharge it, and we're, we'll be ready to go.